Hello dear students, I'm teacher Nazim Hallani from Al Mahdi Schools and today's lesson is going to be about the passive voice. In this video, we're going to learn how to identify the form and use of the passive form, how to differentiate between passive voice and active voice, how to transform sentences from the active to the passive and from the passive to the active, and how to construct sentences using the passive voice. Before we start, I want you to have your English grammar handbook in front of you with a draft paper in order to write some notes. Let's start by analyzing the components of a simple sentence in the English language Ahmad eats an apple every day. In this sentence, Ahmad is the doer of the action. But what do we mean by the doer of the action? Let's see. The doer of the action is the person, place, thing, idea, or any noun that is doing or being the action of the sentence. In this sentence, Ahmad is the one who is doing the action of eating. Ahmad eats an apple every day. Eats is the main verb. And an apple is the receiver of the action. Now, what do we mean by the receiver of the action? The receiver of the action is the person or the thing that is directly affected by the action of the verb of the sentence. So, the verb of the sentence is eat. Who is affected by the action of eating? The apple, which is the receiver of the action. Thus, the action of eating falls on the apple, which is the receiver of the action. So, can you now conclude what is a sentence made of? Great job! A sentence is made of the doer of the action plus the main verb plus the receiver of the action. However, while we hear about the precautions from the coronavirus, we hear sentences such as gloves must always be worn, public places should be avoided, hands are washed for at least 20 seconds, and a mask is worn when going outside. And if we look closely at these sentences, we'll see that the doer of the action is not mentioned. So, who is the doer of the action in these sentences? Let's think of it. Gloves must always be worn. Who's doing the action of wearing gloves? Excellent. It's people. So, if we want to follow the previous rule of what a sentence is made of, we'll see that the gloves must always be worn must be written as people must always wear gloves. Public places should be avoided is originally people should avoid public places. Hands are washed for at least 20 seconds. People wash their hands for at least 20 seconds. And the mask is worn when going outside is originally people wear a mask when going outside. But what is the difference between these two groups of sentences? We see that the first group of sentences started with the receiver of the action. Can you remind me what do you mean by the receiver of the action? Great job! The receiver of the action is the person or the thing that is directly affected by the action of the verb. And in the second group, the sentences started with... Great! The doer of the action which is people. And of course, you do remember what do you mean by doer of the action. Great! The person, place, thing, idea, or any noun that is doing or being the action of the sentence. If this is the main difference between these two groups of sentences, so what is the form of the first group and what is the form of the second group? Let's see together. The first group is written in the passive voice. Let's take an example. A mask is worn. We see that this sentence is started with the receiver of the action, which is the object. The doer of the action is unimportant as we didn't mention it. And the verb is formed from the verb to be plus the verb in the past participle. While in the second group of sentences, they were written on the active voice. For example, people wear a mask. In the active voice, the object, which is the receiver of the action, comes after the verb, in its normal position. The sentence starts with the doer of the action, and the verb is formed in the simple present tense. 
So, we have two voices to use in the English language, the active voice and the passive voice. We have been using the active voice for a long time, as all of our sentences were formed by the active voice. But what about the passive voice? When do we use the passive voice? We use the passive voice in these cases. When the focus is on the action or the receiver rather than the doer of the action. Let's take an example. The bridge was built to decrease gridlock. Here, what is important is that the bridge was built. It doesn't matter who did the action of building. We use the passive form when the person who did the action is unknown. For example, the safe was cracked and the money was stolen. In this case, we don't know who cracked the safe and who stole the money, but we know that the safe was cracked and the money was stolen. Thus, we can't mention the doer of the action. The third case is when the action is a law or a rule. Children are not allowed to play outside. Now, what is important here is the rule that children are not allowed. Now, there is a certain note that you have to pay attention to. We can't use the passive voice with intransitive verbs, verbs that don't have an object. For example, Salma sits near the door. Salma is the subject. Sits is the verb. However, the verb sits doesn't take an object. It has no receiver. So, we can't use the passive voice in this sentence as there is no receiver of the action sits. The baby sleeps in his crib. The baby is the subject. Sleeps is the main verb that doesn't take an object. There is no receiver of the action sleeps. These verbs are called intransitive verbs as the action doesn't have a receiver. On the other hand, we have verbs such as Sam called his friend. The verb called takes an object, which is his friends. So, his friends receives the action of calling. Another example, Aya bought a car. Bought is the verb, which has a receiver, which is a car. So, bought takes an object. These verbs are called the transitive verbs. Transitive means the verb takes an object. In this case, when the verb takes an object, it has a receiver, we can use it in the passive form. We can conclude that before forming a sentence in the passive voice, we should make sure that the sentence includes an object, which means that the verb is a transitive. It and we should label the sentence's major parts, the subject, verb, and object. When we do these two steps, we'll be able to know the form of the passive voice. Let's take a sentence and analyze it in order to know the form of the passive voice. The trees are planted by my grandpa. The trees are planted. Do the trees do the action of planting or do they receive the action of planting? Excellent. They receive the action. Thus, the sentence started with the receiver of the action, which is the trees. Now, are planted. We see here the main verb started with the verb to be are, and then it was followed by the verb in the past participle, planted. After that came by my grandpa, the by phrase which consists from the by plus the doer of the action. Who planted the trees? My grandpa. So, my grandpa is the doer of the action. However, we mention the doer of the action when the doer is important. He is known. He is not a pronoun. Let's apply these steps on the simple present tense. Ali drinks orange juice. The first step is to be sure that the verb is transitive, drinks, orange juice. What does Ali drink? He drinks orange juice. Orange juice receives the action. Thus, the verb is transitive. The second step is to label the major parts of the sentence. Ali 
is the doer of the action. Drinks is the main verb. And orange juice is the receiver of the action. So, if you want to apply the previous rule on the simple present tense, we'll have to start with orange juice, which is the receiver of the action. After that comes the verb to be. Now, what verb to be will we use in the simple present tense and with the word orange juice? It's the verb to be as. And after that comes the verb in the past participle and the past participle of the word drink is drunk. And then the by phrase by Ali. So the sentence is orange juice is a drunk daily by Ali. But what if the receiver of the action is a plural? Ali eats two apples daily. If you want to follow the previous rule, we'll have to start with the receiver of the action, which is two apples, and then comes the verb to be. In the previous sentence, we used the verb to be as, but can we use the verb to be as with the plural nouns? Of course not. So, what form of the verb to be is used with the plural nouns in the simple present tense? Great! The verb to be that is used is are. And then comes the verb in the past participle, eaten, and then the by phrase by Ali. So the sentence will be, two apples are eaten daily by Ali. So now, my dear students, can you deduce the general form of the passive voice in the simple present tense? Excellent work. The general rule is the receiver of the action, which is the object, plus is or are, and we use is with the singular nouns and are with the plural nouns, and then the verb and the past participle, and we end it by the by phrase. Let's apply this rule into these exercises. Number one. They use watercolors to paint the drawings. They is the subject, use is the main verb, and watercolors is the receiver of the action. What do they use? They use watercolors. So, we will start our passive voice with the receiver of the action, and then is or are. Watercolors, is it singular or plural, my students? Great, it's a plural. So we're going to use the verb to be, are, great job. And then the verb in the past participle, use, becomes used to paint the drawing. Watercolors are used to paint the drawings. Great job. Number two, Brazil produces coffee in big quantities. Brazil is the subject, produces is the main verb. And what does Brazil produce? It produces coffee. So who receives the action? Coffee. So we'll start with it. Coffee. What do you say? Coffee is or are? Great. Coffee is singular. Coffee is. And the past participle of produce is produced in big quantities by Brazil. Coffee is produced in big quantities by Brazil. Number three. The teacher puts a detailed plan for each upcoming week. The teacher, the doer of the action, puts is the main verb. What does the teacher put? The teacher puts a detailed plan, the receiver of the action. So we'll start with that. A detailed plan, is or are? Great, it's singular, thus you'll we'll use as. A detailed plan, is. And the past participle of put, is. Put. Great job. A detailed plan is put for each upcoming week by the teacher. Great job, my dear students. Number four. The mechanic checks the brakes regularly. The mechanic is the doer of the action. Checks as the main verb. What does the mechanic check? He checks the brakes. The brakes is the receiver of the action. So we'll start with that. And after that, Will we use is or are? Great, we will use are as the breaks are plural. The breaks, the past participle of check, is it checked regularly by the mechanic. And now let's move 
to the simple past tense. Ali drank orange juice. The first thing we need to do is to see if the verb is transitive. What did Ali drink? He drank orange juice, thus it has a receiver. And now, let's label our sentence. Ali is the doer of the action. Drank is the main verb. And orange juice is the receiver of the action. And if we follow the form of the passive voice, we'll have to start with orange juice, which is the receiver of the action. And after that comes the verb to be. Now, what verb to be will we use in the simple past tense? We will use the verb to be was. And after that comes the verb in the past participle. Drank becomes drunk. And then the by phrase by Ali. So the sentence will be orange juice was drunk by Ali. We use the verb to be was because orange juice is singular. So, if our sentence had a plural receiver, what will we use? Let's see. Ali ate two apples yesterday. If we follow the previous rule, we'll start with the receiver of the action. What did Ali eat? He ate two apples. So, two apples is the receiver of the action. And then comes the verb to be. In the previous sentence, we used was. But can we use the verb was with the plural nouns? Of course not. So what form of verb to be will we use in the plural nouns in the simple past tense? Can you guess, my dear students? Great job. We'll use were. Two apples were. And then the verb in the past participle, eaten. And the by phrase, by Ali. And the sentence will be, two apples were eaten by Ali yesterday. So now I want you, my students, to deduce the general form of the passive voice in the simple past tense. Great job! The form is the object plus was or were. We use was if the receiver of the action is singular, and we use were if the receiver of the action is a plural. And after that comes the verb in the past participle, and then it's followed by the by phrase. Let's see some examples. I'm going to put the general rule in front of you in order to check it. Number one, the airlines sent the passenger to Australia. The airlines is the doer of the action. Sent is the verb. Who did the airlines send? They sent the passenger. So the receiver of the action is the passenger. Thus, we will start with the, the passenger. Now. We'll have to use was or were. The passenger was or were. Great, was, as the passenger is singular. And then comes the verb in the past participle, sent to Australia by the airlines. Great job. Let's see number two. The minister announced the holiday on the national television. The minister is the doer of the action. Who did the action? Announced the main verb. What did the minister announce? He announced the holiday, the receiver of the action. So we'll start with that. The holiday. Now, the holiday was or were? Great job. I'm so proud of you, my dear students. The holiday was because it's singular. And then comes the verb in the past participle. Announced on the national television by the minister. Great job, my dear students. You're doing great. Number three, they bought new skills for the school laboratory. They is the doer of the action. Bought is the main verb. New skills is great, the receiver of the action. What did they buy? They bought new skills. Thus, we'll start the passive voice with the word new skills. New skills, is it singular or plural? Excellent. It's a plural. Thus, we'll use where, and the past participle of both is both for the school laboratory. New scales were both for the school laboratory. The last one, the mayor required new elections. The mayor is the doer of the action. Required is the main verb. 
What did the mayor require? He required new elections. The receiver of the action. Thus, we'll start with that. New elections. It has an S, a plural S. Thus, we will use... Excellent. We will use where. New elections. Where? The past participle of required. Required by the mayor. New elections were required by the mayor. Now, this exercise is to be done by yourselves. I want you to pause this video and try to change these sentences from the active to the passive by your own. I'm sure that you will be able to do them and you will do them correctly. Now, I'm back to you, my dear students, in order to check your answers. Number one, too many tourists visited Lebanon last year. As we did in the previous exercises, first, we need to identify the verb. If it's transitive, the verb is visited. It is in the simple past tense. And what did many tourists visit? They visited Lebanon. So Lebanon is the receiver. So the answer will be Lebanon was visited by too many tourists last year. Number two, he forces the children of poor families to work. The main verb here is forces, and the tense of the main verb is the simple present tense. Forces ends with an S, as in the simple present tense. And the receiver of the action is the children of poor families. Who does he force? He forces the children of poor families. So thus, the sentence will be, the children of poor families are forced to work. Number three. Young people use the internet for social communication. Young people use. The main verb is use. And it is in the simple present tense. As it doesn't have an ed. Now, what do young people use? They use the internet. It's our receiver. Thus, the passive voice of the sentence will be in the simple present tense. The internet is used by young people for social communication. Number four. We used a candle when the electricity went off. We used. The main verb is used. A candle when the electricity went off. Here we have another verb, which is went off. Now, the verb used is in the simple past. And what did they use? A candle. Its receiver is a candle. When the electricity went off, does the verb went off? Have a receiver of the action? Of course not. Great job. So, all what we have to do is to change the first part of the sentence into the passive voice, and the sentence will be A candle was used when the electricity went off. Number five, affluent residents own these fancy houses. Affluent residents own. The main verb is own, and it's the simple present tense. What do they own? They own these fancy houses. So the sentence will be, these fancy houses are owned by affluent residents. Number six, illegal hunters captured hundreds of elephants for their ivory. Illegal hunters captured. The main verb is captured and it's in the simple past tense. What did they capture? They capture hundreds of elephants. So this is the receiver of the action and the sentence will be in the passive voice, Hundreds of elephants were captured by illegal hunters for the ivory. I'm sure that you did your sentences correct, dear students, and I'm so proud of you. Now, what I want you to do is to study the form and use of the passive voice that are mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching, my dear students, and I hope that you had the greatest benefit from this video.